Hey guys, it's Krish. Welcome to my channel. This is my first video. And I'm going to have a lot of things like um, original series, um, crafting, needle felting, and much more. Speaking of needle felting, today we have our first project, which is a 3D wool term needle felting DIY kit. And this is the Retro Owl, and it's for hand, hands-on fun for ages 10 to 100. And the project time will take an hour, but it'll take way less for us, because we're awesome. And here it has the instructions on how to make a pom-pom, how to pull a piece of wool, and it shows everything you get on the back. So you get your felting needle, um, you get your colors, get your elastic cord, and this photo guide. So we're not going to be using the instructions today. We're just going to do freestyle. And I've practiced this before, so I know this way works. So let's get started. The materials you will be needing is needles. Make sure they're very sharp. And be careful with your needles. Felting wool looks like cotton candy. Ah! The elastic cord and a pair of scissors. Ooh. Okay, first take out your pink wool and then we're gonna be making the head. So, we're not gonna be needing to make a pom pom. First, you're just gonna Straighten it out like in a big log and twist it around like this. So you're just going to roll it up. And you're going to cover it with some more wool on the top. So you're just going to start by taking your needle and make sure to be very careful with this. And holding it like this and poking it. Poking, poking, poking. Poking all the wool to make sure everything's in place. So I'll be back once I'm done poking this wool. After you're done making the little pom pom ball, you're going to take your white wool and you're going to take a little piece of it and roll it up into a little ball and you can use your scissors for this to pull apart the wool and you're going to just scrunch it up into a little ball so you're going to put your big puff ball up the side and get your needle and poke it. Start poking it in a circular shape all around. So I'll be back once I'm done poking this. Now you're gonna have your little white piece and you're gonna get your puff ball and turn it right side up and put the little white ball where you want it to be. And you just wanna poke it in. So I'll be back when I'm done that too. So you're gonna felt on two white eyes and I'm gonna do another on the same tie. I just leave the wool dry, but you can also wet the wool. Um, but I recommend just keeping it dry because it's easier to work with. But you can mold better, sh you can make better shapes when you use it wet, but I just like it dry. The best time to use it wet is when you're felting soaps or when you're felting things on the pillow because then you get a nice thin design instead of like a big puff ball like mine. So I'll see you in part two and bye!